Yo, what's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the Miami Marlins franchise here on MLB The Show 21. And today we start the NLDS. That's right, games one and two today. So make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. That is what we do here in all sports. Welcome to South Beach Park as the Milwaukee Brewers and Christian Yelich come in to face the Miami Marlins and Mike Trout. This is a huge playoff series for the Marlins. They went out in five games last year to the Cincinnati Reds in this very round of the postseason, and that was after a 2-0 series lead. So even after today, we are not going to know the answers in this playoff series, but Pablo Lopez will get the call here in game number one, 12 and seven with a 326 ERA on the regular season, a 108 whip and Garrett Mitchell is his first batter up and Mitchell sends it to straightaway center. Trout can't bring it back, it's gone. Already a run on the board in this NLDS game one. This is gonna be a hell of a series. Here's Brian Reynolds and he is up at the plate. He will pop out to shallow left field. Now Christian Yelich at the plate and a ground ball through the infield and that one into Trout's glove in center field for a base hit. One on, one away. Xander Bogarts goes down swinging. And Pablo Lopez maybe starts to settle in. Let's see, Daniel Vogelbach with a base hit here with two away. He's got two on, two out for the Brew Crew and Lucas Irseg. Going to ground this one down the first baseline, thrown on to second, and Pablo Lopez's nightmare is now over. Hopefully he'll start to settle in. Brandon Woodruff is his opposing pitcher here who will take the mound for the Brew Crew. 4.30 ERA and an 11-9 record. Charlie Aitken getting the leadoff spot here in game number one. He goes down swinging. Mike Trout coming up here as the three-hole hitter, and this one grounded up the middle, and a nice play on the defensive side as the Brew Crew with the early lead. Gabriel Moreno up at the plate here, and he has this one lifted into center field. Nice run and range by Mike Trout to make the grab. Two away in the top of the second for Woodruff, the pitcher, to get a single. Hey, you got to help yourself sometimes. Nice single will leave him on for Mitchell, who hit the home run earlier. He'll take a walk here against Pablo Lopez and put two on with two away. Can they get something going? Reynolds barely taps this one back to Lopez in a great defensive play to get himself out of a little jam. Here's Rafael Devers, and this one is gone. He absolutely drills it out to right field into the fountain. No doubter, 429 feet. As long as that thing was fair, it was going to be gone. And he ties the ball game up, so a good start to the bottom of the second. In comes Glaber Torres. And he is going to hit a bomb as well. Back-to-back -back home runs to start this second inning off for the Marlins. Big time back-to-back -back solo shots. Glaber Torres and Rafael Devers both going yard. You love to see it. And with nobody away, the Marlins doing a little damage. There's a strikeout for Eloy Jimenez. Unfortunately, could not keep the rally going. Here's Tyler Stevenson, and he'll strike out to end the second, but the Marlins do grab themselves a 2-1 lead. Here's Daniel Vogelbach back at the plate. This one grounded onto a short, and that would be the final out of the top of the third inning. We go to the bottom half. Charlie Aitken up at the plate, and he gets beanballed. Charlie Aitken's going to turn into Charlie Aiking. There's a strikeout. Woodruff gets the fifth strikeout of his day. And then Devers comes up again and gets a base hit. This one is going to bring around the runner from third. And in is Aiken. After the beanball, Aiken ends up scoring. That ends up hurting the Milwaukee Brew Crew pretty badly. There's a strikeout from Glaber Torres. And thrown on to first to confirm it and end the third inning. So a 3-1 lead for the Marlins didn't have to happen. That is all Woodruff's fault. Here's the throw, and that one will be the final out of the fourth. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Eloy Jimenez gives one a rope out to left field. 
yanks one into the left field foul, and it actually hit the top of it and came back 447 feet for Eloy Jimenez. It's an E-bomb from Eloy. You love to see it. Xander Bogarts can't believe it. Former Red Sox teammates with Rafael Devers playing together in this one. There's a strikeout of Bobby Bradley by Woodruff, his seventh of the game. Tyler Stevenson with a ground ball. That'll get past shortstop. And Tyler Stevenson puts himself on in the bottom of the fourth with just one away. Here's Pablo Lopez. Can he help himself out a little bit? No, he will ground into a double play, and that's going to end the fourth inning here in South Beach Park. Into the fifth we go. Top of the fifth, Mitchell lines out to short. Brian Reynolds comes up, and he hits a deep fly ball out to center field, but Mike Trout gets right under it and gets through the top half of the fifth. Charlie Aiken leading off the bottom of the fifth, and he tries to jam a single up the middle, but he will get thrown out at first. Mike Trout now at the plate, swinging at something he probably shouldn't. The throw on to first will confirm the out on the pass ball. And we are through five at South Beach Park. It is 4-1 Marlins. We will be back in NLDS game one. Back for the top of the six. Here's Pablo Lopez up against Yelich, and he yanks one down the right field line, but under it and making the catch is Charlie Aiken. Here is Daniel Vogelbach up at the plate, and that is Vogel bombed. It is out of here to center field. Mike Trout can't bring it back, and Daniel Vogelbach absolutely smashes one, 428 feet. The solo shot cuts the lead down to 4-2, and there's a base hit as well with two away. So with one on and two away, out comes Pablo Lopez, in comes Taylor Rogers, who really pitched beautifully, pitched in 68 games and had a great ERA. Just really good for us this season. There's a bobble in the throw on to first. Glaber Torres makes up for his mistake and gets us past the sixth. Dylan Tate comes in. He pitched 101 games. In 101 games this season, he has been overworked. And will it show here as Rafael Devers does it again? It is out of here, his second homer of game one. 415 feet, Devers came to play. And there you go, a 5-2 lead. Here's Glaber Torres, will he go back to back again? For the second time, no, this one it has a little too much air under it. Here's Bobby Bradley with two away though, 3-1 count and a dribbler that will be thrown on to first and get him. So we're through sixth into the seventh. Tristan Lutz going down. Taylor Rogers with a nice breaking ball. Two away. Here's Garrett Mitchell, and Mitchell will take this out to left. Long run by Bobby Bradley. He makes the play, though. And we are through the middle of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch. In comes Eric Yardley who apparently didn't pitch in a single game this regular season. And here he is striking out Tyler Stevenson to start the bottom of the seventh. In comes Brian Anderson to pinch hit, a 275 average in his regular season, 19 home runs. Not bad for a guy who was on the bench most of the year. He hits one to straightaway center, and that one will be held by the ballpark for out number two. Charlie Aitken comes up, he will strike out on the curve ball, and we are through seven innings. Garrett Crochet coming in as the setup man. 28 games pitched this regular season to a 193 ERA. He's got Brian Reynolds at the plate and he gets him on the change up down low for out number one in this eighth. Christian Yelich at the plate and he hits this one. Way too much air underneath it. Mike Trout has plenty of time to make the play, and that's out number two. Here's Xander Bogarts, and he hits one out to center as well. Mike Trout, a little bit of chase, and he gets the job done. So Araldis Chapman, the former Marlin at one time, brought in here by the Milwaukee Brewers to try and shut down this eighth inning. He's doing it so far. He strikes out Javi Baez. And that is out number one. Now with two away, Devers comes up. This time, no home run from him as he strikes out looking silly. So here it is. It all boils down to this in game one. Ryan Muller, can he close it out? I don't know why it says 19 of 22. He had way more saves than that, but it's cool. 
3-2 count, and there is a base hit to lead off the top of the ninth. So Milwaukee sitting pretty right now. Gabe Moreno on deck, but this one is going to hit way too high. It is caught out there in right field. No tag up. So here is Gabe Moreno, and he will strike out on the curveball away. That is out number two. Can Ryan Muller get it done? One out away. There's the strikeout on the inside running fastball. Marlins win game number one of the NLDS by a score of 5-2. Brandon Woodruff, the losing pitcher. Pablo Lopez, the winner today. Top hitters, Daniel Vogelbach and Rafael Devers. Let's move right in to game number two of the NLDS. Wasting no time. Marlins holding that 1-0 lead here at South Beach Park. They love those day games at South Beach Park. I know you guys have touched on it in the comments multiple times. Here's Jesus Luzardo, technically our best pitcher in the regular season. Marlins save him to game number two, a 17-4 record. Right away, going to walk his first batter. Ramon Urias goes down on the strikeout, though. Couldn't get that breaking ball down low. Christian Yelich comes up and down the third baseline. No attempt at a double play here, just taking the easy out at first. Will that come back to bite the Marlins? This one is high and easy to get underneath. Nice play made, so doesn't end up burning the Marlins. Here's Corbin Burns. He will try to burn the Marlins, though, himself. 12-7 and seven with a 371 ERA on his regular season. And he's going up against Charlie Aiken, who takes one the other way. Oppo Taco Gano. It is out of here. Goodbye, baby. Charlie Aiken with a 354-foot home run to lead off this game for the Marlins. 1-0 lead. Avi Baez goes down swinging for the first out here in the first inning. Mike Trout on a 1-2 pitch. He yanks this thing into left field, and it will drop for a base knock. So one on, one away. Here's Rafael Devers, and he will go down on the changeup away. Looking silly again. His last couple outs here in this playoffs have not looked great. Here's Glaber Torres with a beautiful hit out to left field. So two on, two away for Eloy Jimenez. He hits one to straightaway center field, and... He will not be bringing any more runs in for this Marlins team. They start off with a 1-0 lead. Here's Tristan Lutz to lead off the top of the second inning, and he gets a base hit. lazardo has got to stop putting the leadoff hitters on base. This is not a good look. Here's Nottingham, and the dribbler down the first baseline will start a double play ball and completed for two outs. Lucas Irsek comes up on a full count, lifts one out to left field, making Eloy work, and he gets the job done. We're through the middle of the second. Here's Bobby Bradley in the bottom of the second, leading off. He hits this thing hard out to center field, but a nice run and catch out there in center. Here's Tyler Stevenson. He takes this one the other way. That one's hit long and deep, and that one's caught at the warning track. So a lot of hard-hit balls here by the Marlins only amounted to one run. Here's Daniel Vogelbach. He gets a little too much air under this one, and it will be caught by Eloy Jimenez out there in left center. Here's Corbin Burns. Can another pitcher get the job done? He'll take a walk for Garrett Mitchell, who will hit a high fly ball out to left field, and it will be caught for the second out of the inning. We still got the pitcher on first, and here's Ramon Urias looking to drop this one in, and he does just that. Two on, two away, top of the third for Christian Yelich, and he bounces this thing, and Glaber Torres makes a wonderful play at second. So we are out of that jam. Here's Charlie Aiken down the right field line all the way to the wall. Aiken's going to get his way, digging into second base with a leadoff double. Here's Javi Baez. Can he bring him home? Baez hits this thing deep out to left center. It is caught. And no tag up. Here's a strikeout from Mike Trout. He could not advance the runner. So they squander the opportunity, or do they? Devers hits one really hard out to right, and it gets over the wall. His third homer of the playoffs in just two games, and he isn't even done with the second game yet. Jacob Nottingham comes up and goes down, swinging in the fourth inning. 
So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Bobby Bradley with this 3-0 lead. Puts one into center field and gets himself on first. Miami looking good here early in this series. There's Luzardo. Does he ruin the momentum? A little bit, but we needed him in there to pitch. So we are through four innings at South Beach Park. It is 3-0 Marlins. Into the top of the fifth we go. There's a strikeout on the changeup away by Irseg. That'll bring up Daniel Vogelbach on the 3-2 count. He goes down. Probably would have walked if he just let it go, but he strikes out instead for Luzardo's fourth. Corbin Burns comes up. This is an easy pop into foul territory and caught in that top half. Charlie Aiken leading off the bottom of the fifth with a single putting himself on first. There's Javi Baez, chopper over to second, trying to start the double play, and it is completed by the Brew Crew. So two gone, Mike Trout looking silly on the slider away, and we are through five. Garrett Mitchell now to lead off the six. He goes down looking, and he does not like the call, but that's too damn bad. Here's Ramon Urias, and he hits a single into right field. That'll put somebody on with just one away, giving the Brew Crew an opportunity. Christian Yelich sits there looking, throw down a second base. Not in time. They get the steal, and then Yelich with this chopper to second is going to advance the runner. So can they bring that runner from third home? Here's Bogarts. Bogarts single into center will do it. That will score the first run of the game for the Brew Crew. And it's a 3-1 ball game. Here's Tristan Lutz. Lutz hits one down the left field line. Will they attempt to score the runner all the way from first? No, they will not. They're going to hold him at third. Two on, two away. Freddy Peralta is coming in. They've had enough of Luzardo here with the Marlins. Five saves and 13 opportunities somehow. Long saves they must have been. Here's Peralta. And that is going to end up a base hit as Glaber Torres boots it. He could not handle it. And they will score a run on that. So 3-2, to two, Lucas Irsig comes up. This one's a pop fly into foul territory. Long run for Charlie Aiken, but he's able to get it done. And we're through the middle of the six. Here comes Dylan Tate again. He's already, of course, pitched in game one. It didn't go all that well for him. He's got a 9 ERA thus far. Here's Rafael Devers. Can he hit his fourth homer of the playoffs? No, this one's got way too much air under it, and it is out number one. Here's Glaber Torres, and he goes down swinging. That slider away is getting a lot of these Miami hitters today. Eloy Jimenez goes down as well, so a lot of strikeouts here, and we will move forth through six at South Beach Park. We'll be back. And we're back to the top of the seventh. Daniel Vogelbach with a base hit up the middle into left center field. That gets all the way to the wall, and even slow Vogelbach will get the second on that one. So pinch hitting is Brian Reynolds. He's got a zero average. Even though he played game one, he did not get a hit. We'll see what he can do. Pinch hitting here in the seventh. This one barely tapped. It will move the runner over. He will sacrifice himself. So Ramon Uris with two away. This one is barely tapped as well. Another great play made by Freddy Peralta to get the out. That'll bring in Eric Yardley again for the Brew Crew, who apparently didn't pitch at all in the regular season. And here he is in the postseason, pitching two games in a row. Bobby Bradley goes down swinging. That was a silly pitch to swing at. Tyler Stevenson with another silly pitch to swing at in the sinker away. Two straight strikeouts for Yardley. He'll have to get Brian Anderson here, who is pinch hitting for the pitcher. We'll see what he can do against Anderson. One-two pitch, and he gets him to swing silly away too early on the curveball, Brian. And that'll bring in Guillermo Marquez, who actually pitched really well in the regular season. He ended up getting five wins. He had a 108 whip. He did a great job for us. He's going to try to set this one up. And there's the strikeout of Yelich. That's a good start right there if you're looking to set this game up for the closer. Xander Bogarts chopping one down the third baseline. Devers makes the play. Nice throw. Out number two. Here's Tristan Lutz, and he takes the beanball right underneath the numbers on his back. 
So that'll bring up Jacob Nottingham. And Nottingham trying to bloop one past Javi Baez. Not going to happen on his watch. And we move to the bottom half of the eighth of where Araldis Chapman will come in. He had a very successful game one in not giving up a run in his one inning pitch. There's Aitken, and he's going to get a walk. Maybe a favorable call. Skip doesn't like it, but that's too bad. Here's Javi Baez. He will strike out on the high heater. So Araldis Chapman looking to work through despite that walk that may have really been a strikeout. There's Mike Trout. And there is a strikeout as he swings wildly. That'll bring up Devers. And that's down the first baseline. Very easy tap on first to end this eighth inning. We are going to the ninth. Who's going to get this dub? 3-2. Can the Marlins close it? We'll be back to find out. And we're back. Ryan Muller looking to close this thing out. He was able to successfully do so in game one of the NLDS, and he has Lucas Erseg at the plate, and that is a walk on the 3-2 count. Here's Vogelbach, and right at Devers, he makes the play. Nice grab. So Tyrone Taylor looking to pinch hit here in the bottom of the ninth with a runner on, mind you. Leading run at the plate. Here's a pop fly down the first baseline. Nice job to make the play. Here's Garrett Mitchell, and he goes down looking at the running fastball. There you go, 3-2. Ryan Muller with his second straight save here in the playoffs, and NLDS game number two belongs to the Marlins by a score of 3-2. Look at the hits, very even. This has been a great series so far, even though Miami is up two games to none. Let's look at some of the other series around the league tied everywhere except the Dodgers have a 2-1 lead on the Braves. Any predictions you guys have for the rest of the playoffs make sure you put those in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please go ahead and drop a like on it if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want more franchise content. That is all we do here. Share this video anywhere you can if you really enjoyed it and want other people to enjoy it as well and come on into the channel, join the community. Make sure you guys check out the links in the description for the Discord and my Twitch so you can come watch me live as well when I go live on there. And you can join this great community that we have in Discord where we go into voice chats. We will do some screen sharing. We get games going together and all kinds of stuff. We got fantasy football running, all kinds of fantasy sports during all the sports seasons. Somebody's usually running a league in there. Come on in. Have a great time. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. But if you want to see some more franchise, make sure you click right here to see some more franchise.